Welcome to day 11 of our Vladvent countdown, looking at Dracula posters from across cinema history, interspersed with those from the two major franchises which shaped our view of cinema's favourite blood-sucking bogeyman. Count Dracula? Is that who you mean? Why do you not speak his name? I cannot harm you anymore. Dracula Has Risen From The Grave was the fourth of Hammer's franchise, the third to feature Christopher Lee, and the first that the actor didn't really want to do but was coerced into by Hammerhead James Carreras. And that may be reflected in the poster, because while we can clearly recognise Lee in the images at the bottom, taken straight from the film, the main image looks nothing like him and may reflect uncertainty over whether or not the actor would return. In fact, this striking and angry portrayal of the Count is a self-portrait by Hammer's regular poster designer, Tom Chantrell, which has been adapted into Dracula. Look closely and you can see the overpainted fangs. What Chantrell was angry about, I have no idea, but the film is driven by Dracula's quest for vengeance after he is barred from his castle. Who has done this thing? The title at the top is painted to look like a slab of marble, giving the impression of Dracula beating on the underside of a sarcophagus lid. The blue background is an odd choice, and this poster has less red on it than perhaps any other Dracula poster, and certainly any other Hammer one, a company renowned for the vividness of its blood. But a neutral background does highlight a stark and oddly powerful image. Now my revenge is complete. Thanks for watching. Our Vladvent calendar continues tomorrow and we will get to the rest of the Hammer films. Christopher Lee played Dracula in 10 films, but what's your favourite Lee role that isn't Dracula? Let us know in the comments below.